Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, I'd like us to again look at rotations, but this time, let's look at how we can rotate a line segment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph two points, we'll connect them to create a line, and then we'll see how we can rotate that around a point. So let's go ahead and graph the lines, the, I'm sorry, let's graph the point uh, A, which will be at four comma one, and then we'll graph the point B, which will be at two comma five. So to graph point A, I go over four, I go up one, there is my point. And we'll label that guy A. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw in point B. So I'll go over two, I'll go up five, and this is where my point B is. The next step now is that we just need to connect those points to create our line segment. So I'll go ahead and use this old Starbucks gift card as my ruler and I'll line up those two points so that when I connect them, it creates a nice straight line segment, perfect. Now what we wanna do for this problem is let's say I wanna take the line segment AB and I wanna rotate it Let's say let's rotate it 90 degrees and we'll do it counterclockwise. So CCW counterclockwise, which is in that direction. Okay, so now what we got to do is get some tracing paper. Again, if you don't have tracing paper, what might be helpful is just using um, some very thin paper that you'll be able to see through. So go ahead and draw in the two points and then do your best to draw that line straight. You could use your straight edge again, but really what's more important is that we have these points lined up for us. Now, we wanna rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, I forgot to mention, around the point zero, zero. Okay, so putting this back up here, lining it up so it is perfectly on, we're going to take this line segment AB, and we're going to rotate it around this point, zero, zero, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I take my tracing paper and I turn it one turn, so it ends up becoming 90 degrees on the turn, and we end up with our line segment now being rotated 90 degrees. So again, I just lift up the tracing paper and I'm looking for where my spot's gonna be, it looks like it's right here. And remember, that'll be the new A, but we call it A prime since it's moved and it looks like B ends up being right here. And that's our new B prime. Again, get your straight edge and you wanna go ahead and connect those two points. And now we see that we have our line segment AB and it's been rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, and now we have our new line segment, A prime, B prime. And something that you might wanna take a note of is if I were to write out the coordinates for A prime, we would see that A prime is now at negative one, positive four. And if I look at my new points for B prime, it looks like this guy is at negative five, and then up two. So looking at our points and how they change, it looks like, right, our X and our Y's were flipped, they changed spots, and it looks like our now our X values are negative, right, because we're in quadrant two, the rotation is gonna make all those X values negative. Alrighty, I hope this helped you out on how we can rotate a line segment. All right, it's so that math magician, and I'll see you next time.